So Brighton was a location that we wanted to look at because I think everyone's been looking at secondary locations around the UK for service departments and apart hotel locations. And it's really now the time that for people are starting to look at tertiary locations. And Brighton really came up to us as, a, as an opportunity. Um, we have this fantastic site proposed to us right in the centre of Brighton, um, really close to everything that everyone comes to Brighton for. Um, and it was just too good of an opportunity to turn down. We then obviously went in and did all the feasibility on Brighton as a market, both for long stay, for corporates and for leisure travellers. And we found that it really did have a, a dual appeal. Um, so it was an absolute no brainer really for us to, to look at Brighton. It fits in really well with the Super City brand and who we are. Um, we like to think we're a bit kind of out there and a little bit quirky like Brighton is. So it's, it was, yeah, it was just somewhere we had to open really. Good question. I mean, Airbnb is everywhere um, and I don't think it's any um, surprise to anyone that Brighton is a hotspot for Airbnb. Yeah, it's three and a half thousand. I knew it was high and yeah, it's uh, that doesn't sound far off um, what we've experienced. I think there are some actually on this street um, that we're sitting on right now. Um, there's competition everywhere we open, I think is, is the one thing, whether it be from hotels, when we're going up against um, them for leisure stays or for short stay business travel full service departments or you know private rentals um there's always a comp competitor for every market set that we go for um with airbnb you know it's there's a room in the marketplace for it um yes it will ha be a competitor at times but at other times i it, i don't think it will be um i think what really sets us apart is you know we're members of the asap so the association of service department providers and we really do believe that the differentiation between us and say an Airbnb property is the accreditation. You know, we make sure that all of our properties are safe, secure. They go through a full um, check to make sure that everything is compliant. You know, we're completely open and honest. We share all of that um, data with them and we get comparisons back on what we can do better. So I think the safety and security is a huge topic right now. Um, you know, we see a lot of things in the news about people that have booked on certain websites and I'm not just calling that Airbnb there's been a whole host of other websites that have, that have been used and people have had a bad experience and we hope that if we kind of partner with those kind of companies um, you know we might be able to bring that kind of accreditation level to the forefront a little bit more um, but like I say I mean Airbnb it's you know we don't have we're not a five bedroom house um, you know, we're, there's, we don't have a swimming pool. You know, there's, there's something that everyone wants that I think you can find. You know, I look at Airbnb for tree houses and things like that. So uh, we don't operate those kind of things. So uh, yeah, it just depends what the guest is looking for, really. Yeah, the leisure market is, is looking for something different. I think they're looking for more of an experience. They're looking for a little bit more than just a brown box room. Um, they want to kind of experience the city. They want to, you know, really you know, enjoy themselves when they come to somewhere like Brighton. It is, you know, it's a seaside town. And, you know, we know we're going to get everyone from, you know, families to, you know, individuals having a kind of really nice kind of weekend break away. There's lots of them to do in Brighton. So we know it's going to attract a very, it is a very attractive leisure market. We, we see that. Um, and so we've made sure that people can really experience it the way they want to. You know, we've gone... Obviously, with the fully equipped kitchens, we've done that, um, which some people think is, you know, that's a lot really for an apart hotel. Apart hotels, it's it is a cost for us to do, but we still give, you know, the full kitchen, the full welcome packs and things for people, even the leisure travellers, so they can really experience it how they want to. You know, we're at a time when things like veganism is through the roof, and you know, you've got your kitchen. Doesn't matter what your fancy is you can cook for yourself it's you don't have to worry about what allergy you have or you know what you want to you know gluten free or anything like that you know or if, if you want to do that you can and it's that freedom that people want so we give them that we don't you know we're, we're not the kind of hotel that you have to worry about sneaking in the pizza late at night we're quite open uh, we'll even tell you where to get the best pizza from in brighton um because we're all self-catering we give some outdoor space for people because who doesn't come to the seaside and want to enjoy the fresh sea air and you know have a bit of a sea view so we've put those options in place 
So to make it really easy for people so they know what they're booking and what they're expecting when they come down here. We've seen a huge shift. I mean, we're, we're an independent company. We're not part of a large chain. Um, so it can be quite difficult for us with business travel. Um, that in, historically has always been, you know, big RFPs. You know, you've got to be locked in for the year. And if, if you're a traveler with one of these companies, you've got to stay at one of these hotels. You know, we've all, we all know about the traffic light system and corporate booking tools and all this kind of thing. And if you book one that's out of program and the kind of hoops you had to jump through to get it signed off, by the powers that be so you could just stay where you wanted to stay. There's been a bit of a power shift over the last couple of years really and we're still seeing it now where business travellers really are now getting their own say and having their own independence about where they want to book and what they want from their travel. Um, we've spoken, you know, talk about leisure travellers and things like that and people really want to combine that element of leisure in with their, their business travel stay. If they're away for a conference for a few days and they extend it out, they want to be able to do that. They want to be able to choose you know, an Airbnb or an apart hotel or a houseboat. They want to be able to choose where they stay and what they experience because they're, you know, they're quite right. It's their own time as much as it is the business's time. You know, they're dedicating days away from their friends, from their family. They want to have a bit of a say of how that goes. And you know, they're happy to be kept within budget constraints or at least said, you know, okay, try not to do this or try and make sure that they've got this kind of insurance and... You know, so there is there is still a level of security and safety that, that the corporates are taking into account, but they're giving them a little bit more freedom. Now, what that means for companies like Super City and the independent hotels is that we're getting much more no, you know, much more um, business from these from these independent travellers now, and it's great for us. We can really showcase them, you know, what we can do and how personal we can be with the offering that we give. You know, we're not a big box chain, um, so when someone comes and stays with us. It is a very personal experience and we can give that kind of one-to-one -one customer service quite easily. Uh, yeah, so we're still in the process of um, obviously launching Brighton, so uh, we're all kind of hands on deck for that at the moment. But in the future, I think everyone always assumes that we're going to talk about expansion plans and where's next and what's the next town we're going to be focused on. But really for Super City, I think the plan, certainly for 2020 uh, and early 2021, is actually looking a little bit more internally. Uh, we've got a big focus right now on sustainability and what, how we operate as a company, uh, making sure that both our employees and our guests that travel and stay with us, you know, we're doing everything that we can to improve their guest experience, to you know, make sure that everyone, that Super City is a great place to work. And that's really kind of our focus for the next 12 months now.